Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through making one of my winter fragrances. It's called Yuletide and I'm just going to take you on the journey, my process of how I prepare and make my candles. So I definitely clean everything out with alcohol prior to wicking them. I learned a really pro tip from Brie where she cleans the bottom of her wicks before she puts a wick sticker on it. Let me tell you, that is a game changer. If you're not doing that, I highly recommend it. All right, and then I use a funnel pourer to get an exact eight and a half ounce fill weight for every jar. So I just move my little scale underneath each one. If I go over, if I'm just like a little bit under, I will use a pipette to top off to make sure it is exact. So the fragrance I'm pouring today, like I said, is called Yuletide. It smells incredible. It's been our best seller every year. I did reformulate it this year. I swapped out one of the oils that I blend it with and it just elevated it, made it even more incredible. Black Tie Bond came out with a new oil and I fell in love when I knew I had to use it in my line. All right, I'm getting my Cricut Joy out because I cut my logo onto this vinyl permanent sticker. Huge shout out to Rianne. I'm gonna link her down below. You need to follow her. I was following her on Instagram. She turns out to be a subscriber as well. She is in South Wales. She's a candle maker. She's an aromatherapist and she's an incredibly wonderful, kind human being who spent days, hours helping me, literally giving me tutorials on how to use my Cricut. God bless you, Rianne. So I'm just loading up the design studio to make sure that my mat is loaded correctly and it's going to cut my logo out. So I get about 10 per sheet. And now we're going to prepare the jars. I want to make sure there's no debris before I put the sticker on. Uh, this is very key. And it's also tricky. And again, without Rianne, I think I would have lost my mind because this is the logo. It's all in little pieces. And her logo is the same way. It's very intricate and delicate, but I'm just using this tool to scrape it onto the masking tape, which is also another pro tip that she taught me. Their transfer tape, the Cricut transfer tape sucks. Get masking tape. I have since refined this process. Um, do, after doing 120 jaws, I, uh, I updated some things and it's a lot faster, but I just wanted to record the process and show you. It's very intricate and detailed. So I peel it off the paper here. Boom. Love it. And now we're just gonna eyeball it as best we can. You know, that's what you get with uh, small business and handmade. It's almost perfect. And some of them, maybe they're a little bit crooked, but you know, it's something that I did with my hands. I absolutely love the way this looks. I'm going to use my custom label. This has all the required information when selling a candle. I also have a barcode on there. Shout out to Northwood. I totally stole this idea from them. <laughs> this is the final product. I absolutely love it. And this is the creative that I chose with my candle overlay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Bye.